What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. All right, I think we are all set. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt of Chemical Empire! Hell yeah! Yes! Good sir, thank you for si taking some time out of your day to join us. Do me a favor and please properly introduce yourself for people that may not know who you are. Uh, let us know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment. Plug and promote anything and everything. <clears throat> all right, it's Matt from Chemical Empire uh in toledo ohio it's nighttime here i thought it was 6 p.m my time <laughs> only to find out y'all out west three hours behind so now i'm in my pajamas like i got it. <laughs> all good no worries we actually uh we try and tell everyone it is pacific time but it, it happens all the time so it's no big deal uh, is there anything you want to plug before we dive in? Uh, social media links, uh, something you may have coming up, or anything like that? It's all at chemicalempire.com. There it is. So all the links are there. Yeah. Surely surely you were in projects before this, because all three songs slaps. There's, there's just no way like you just come out of the gate just hot like that. Tell me about what led up to Chemical Empire being formed prior to uh, any releasing any music under that? Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, I've been making music forever, so I'm 20-some years into this. So just, I mean, like, obviously, in the early years, the songs were trash, of course, you know? Does that mean, like, in and out of bands, or just it, always, like, just chilling in the lab, uh, working? It's always been me just uh, in the lab, but also, I've been in and out of bands, too. It's just that the consistency has been the me writing music in the studio. So that's what it is. What do you what do you use DAW-wise when you, when you track and record? Cubase. Cubase, hell yeah. Is that is that what yeah, you started yeah. on? Or did you kind of, did you start like most of us on Fruity Loops and like upgrade? Uh, no, I, I started before Fruity Loops. So actually, before uh, software, I was using like a four-track task cam with a cassette tape. Um, that was way back. Wait a uh, second! Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait! 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 What is? How, you gotta! You gotta tell me more about that. So you have like a four-track cassette tape, but you're like making mixtapes or making music off of like recording parts or something. Oh. Is this before your time? <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know about, like, I'm a computer nerd. <laughs> That's what we had to do. It wasn't a computer. It was a piece of hardware. It's called a Tascam. And it's a four-track recorder. So you can record up to four tracks on a, on a tape. So you would have one track as a uh, overhead mic or something on a drum kit. One track was uh, two tracks would be a guitar. And then you would do a, a vocal, and there would be like nothing else really. Hell yeah! How many yeah. how many instruments do you Fun play, stuff. Matt? I see you got the guitars. How many you. do I play? Yeah, all of them. All of them. <laughs> that is the best answer yeah, I've ever heard. All of instruments, yeah. All of them. So like you you're you could just go and and like hypothetically walk into like a guitar center or Sam Ash and like see something you've never seen before, and you just can teach yourself how to get good at this version of a flute or something that you've never seen before? Uh, okay. Maybe not to that extent. Uh, uh, all rock instruments. How about that? Okay. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. Well, okay. Well, a flute, a flute could be like a rock instrument. So I don't know, but I mean, I haven't done anything like that, you know, but I could walk in there and pick up like a guitar or a bass or sit on a drum kit or some or something, you know, for Keyboards sure. Or something. I just, but actually, I really couldn't because I get like, I don't know. I don't like to go in there and then somebody say, pick it up and play it. <laughs> and it makes me like shut off, you know, and then I can't play. I don't know why. I see you have an... Like if I get put on the spot. Oh, no worries. Then you can play it. 
I, I, if you do like one of these for me, because I see you have like a nice little collectible collection of tur Ninja Turtles, X Men. What you got going on over there? <laughs> yeah, I love X Men uh, and Ninja Turtles. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, this doubles as my uh, nerd lair. So I'm just kind of like a big dork. <clears throat> I do collect stuff and make music all in one room. What, yep, what would you got, say uh, is your holy holy grail collectible over there? Well, okay. So I grew up. It's not that I'm like a huge obsessive fan over like a lot of these things. It's just like what I grew up on. It's the nostalgia. So I collect the things from my time, which is like the uh, 80s, early 90s, right? Uh, but I grew up with Ninja Turtles. And so I used to have the action figures, the original ones from like 87. And I went back and rebought them unopened. And so I have the whole like first 10 or 11 of them uh, up here. You can't see them, but they're sealed up. And I mean, that was a few thousand bucks to acquire that. But for Christmas, uh, my lady Jess got me this Ninja Turtles issue number one graded 8.5. So that's probably my prized possession now right now. Hell yeah. yeah. Take me through your yep. your writing process of how you you come up with the music that you release to our ears. I actually just recorded a video for this for a song that is unreleased. I may put that out soon, but then again, I may not because I always get busy. But um, usually, the songwriting starts out in the world. So I'll be doing something, something will happen. I don't know. It just triggers an idea for a song. I could be in a car. I could be at work. I could be in the shower. I could be anything. It just, I hear a song. I get out my phone and I do a, a little uh, record button and ya -da, 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 da 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 you know, and track that later on. And then I just, you know, once it gets in my head, that kind of starts off uh, the the writing. So it could be, it's usually a, a lyric or um, a vocal part, not so much always like a guitar thing that just kind of comes later. I used to start, like sometimes I'll be just kind of messing around on the guitar and then I'll have a, uh, you know, a fiery riff or something. But for the most part, it's it starts with the a vocal thing. But for me, the vocals are the most important uh, in the song, the hook. So I'll start with the chorus. So if I can't get like a solid chorus where I don't, I'm not feeling like this is going to be, you know, the ne next big thing or, or, or better than the last song or something on par with what I'm working on right now, then I'll just set it aside and, and either revisit it or not. Um, so I have uh, a hard drive with tons of, Horses sung out and played out and mixed and everything and if i'll finish them i don't know i mean there's a lot of songs and i mean a lot of songs i have that are almost done that are better than the ones i've even put out that i don't know if they're gonna make it or not so that's just where it is i just can't stop writing it just happens non-stop that's cool i can dig that there's nothing wrong with yeah. that writing is good did you did you bring hot sauce for the trivia portion I did bring hot sauce. What am I doing with the hot sauce? May I see the hot sauce? Because I have many hot sauce behind me, and I need to see how hot we're going here. We're going... Okay, well, this isn't hot. Okay, so I'll do something not too, too bad. I'm going to go with uh, Pilsner-infused hot sauce right here. A little Pilsner. Okay. Uh, the cool thing about the trivia is you have the advantage. You get to pick the uh the movie or tv show that i'm gonna look up trivia on but now there's no way i could stump you because you've seen this movie or tv show so many times surely you can't be stumped let's say that you are stumped though just hit me with a little done simple nothing too crazy no shot full nothing like that just you can just bam done and i'll do the same regardless of whether you get it right or wrong I wasn't even paying attention, dude. I'm so ADHD, it's not even funny. <laughs> what are we doing? I was, I was trying to think of like a movie or a TV show. So <laughs> Okay, so do you have a favorite movie or TV show? 
that soon as you got me thinking, I my brain evaporated. No, no that's worries. Why I got lost. Do you have a favorite um, movie or TV show? Um, uh, I mean, maybe I, we can do like a movie. It can be like a Avenger movie or something. I'm good at those. So you're good at the Avengers, okay? So I'm gonna look up some Avengers trivia yeah. while while it's on the side that I'm while I'm doing this. Um, go ahead and tell me if there's what we can look forward to in 2024. Regarding Chemical Empire. <clears throat> well, uh, I, I guess you'll be the first to hear this, but there's a song coming out next month. So I know it's uh, the end of the month almost already for February. So a new one will be dropping in March. Um, this one was one of my, uh, one of my boys was like obsessed with it while I was writing it forever he would listen to the demos like and he would take it to like my ex-wife's house and make them listen to it <laughs> <laughs> hopefully <laughs> she she approved hopefully <laughs> I'm kidding. but uh no i'm kidding uh yep so i know they got tired of it and um that was great i finished it so i'm going to release it on his birthday which is the 27th so i was saving it for that and then I'll get more into like a, a routine schedule of probably every like six to eight weeks dropping another track. Uh, I'm just right now it's uh, continuing to uh, finish up the songs that are going on this first album is what the plan is right now. It's really fluid. So I don't know what it'll be in a couple months, but yep. Songs are cool. getting finished. And March, so March 27th, next. you said, right? Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see if we can stump you here on a little yeah, 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 Avengers yeah. trivia. Here we go. In Avengers Age of Ultron, where is Loki's scepter ultimately located? Uh, that's in the, uh, 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 the fucking Hydra base. Right? I... Am I supposed to know the location of the city or something? It's, it has a specific name. Oh, my God. I don't know. It was a castle. It was in a castle. It doesn't specify if I, it, in the list. I don't know the answer. I'm just looking it up. But I think that's technically a uh, stump. I think that's a stump. <laughs> so let's go ahead and enjoy some hot sauce. And I'll Wait, ask you, you don't even know. No, I do know the answer. You don't even know. I know the no, answer. You, said you didn't know the answer. You're well, a cheater. <laughs> meaning like, meaning like, I didn't naturally know the answer. I had to no, see. No, I'm kidding. Uh, what was the answer? Sokovia. 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 Yeah, that's where they went, right? That's that, where they went. That is the answer the that we were looking oh, for. I had to know the city. Oh my god! All right, what do you need me to do? We're just gonna take a swig and then keep asking you questions while we're suffering from hot sauce. You want me to chug this hot sauce? Just take a little swig. Nothing crazy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Sorry, guys. For all you guys watching it who live in this house, you can't. <laughs> you haven't lived anymore. yet. You haven't lived yet until you've lost in trivia and done some hot sauce. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my finger because I just got done being sick, and I know that I don't want to, like, Ruin this whole bottle. No worries. Yeah. Because then they won't be able to eat it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Do you do you anticipate having <clears throat> any any features on the album that you're working on? Mm, by features like vocals, because I feature uh my friend Joe on a couple songs where he does some shredding. He did the shredding on um suffocating. Uh, yes, vocals, but that, so. I didn't. I didn't know Joe was the one that did the shredding. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I, uh, I actually, I used to be able to do some pretty decent shredding, but uh, I spent like the last uh, fifteen years working in a factory, doing the same thing over and over again with my hands. So ever since, I haven't been able to like really like move my fingers as fast anymore. You know. Mm. Like, it gets hard for me to do stuff. So when it comes to, like, I'm like, I can do all the riffs and all that. Like, all the leads and all the riffs and the songs, I'm writing and playing them all. Um, but when it comes to, like, I'm like, okay, 
this song won't be justified unless we have like a real shred. Then I call in the uh, big guns. Yep. Okay. Well, I call this part the redemption trivia. We're gonna give you one more shot. We're talking the same movie. All right, all right. Avengers. Who does Thor contact for help in London? In London? I'll give you a hint. It is a doctor. What is the doctor's name? Yeah. Well, I can tell you what, who they are, just not by name. <laughs> so, all right. So that's Doctor. another stop. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Selvig. I'm, don't worry. I'm doing it again with you. You're not alone. Cheers. Thanks for yeah, being I... a good sport. <laughs> Here we go. It's flaming my mouth because I've been <laughs> on uh, medicine and shit for days. So it's all tore up in there. It's going to get the, uh, the, the nasal passage. Get the extra burn. The <laughs> nasal passage uh, nice and clear. Do you have any? Do you have any that I, I like to ask everybody that comes on the show if they have any like phobias or stuff that freaks them out? Uh, well, I mean, hmm. phobias that freak me out, or just phobias I in general. Think like, any, like hmm, I can tell you that. Um, I'll tell you one thing that does freak me out, but not really like freak me out, but like gives me like the ick is. Um, and talking anything about like the, like the inside of like your body or something. So, for example, if somebody comes up to me and starts explaining to me how my heart works, I get like kind of cringe by that. Okay. You know, like if, so, if someone like okay. walked up to you and they just like skateboarded and broken their arm in half and their bones sticking out, would that also ick you or or no. not that? So I actually, I used to work in surgery. So I used to see this stuff in person and seeing it in person, I was fine with it, but like seeing it on TV, no, I couldn't do it. Like, not like, you know, the gore stuff. I'm talking like the surgical stuff where they open it up and you see the real shit. Yeah. Like that was just, I couldn't do it. But in person I was fine. I seen it all and I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, <laughs> that's interesting. I, know. I just can't. When I hear about it, I feel like I get like this hyper focus on start feeling what's going on inside of me. And then I'm like afraid I'm going to do something to mess it up. I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. Is just, that weird? Uh, it's, it's interesting that like one bothers you and the other one doesn't. And I would think it would be like the in person would would bother you and not the TV one. But it's interesting that it's like the opposite. Right. Yep. Ah. Yeah, I thought it was going to freak out. Because you have to watch, you have to actually watch them perform the surgery in order to be able to work in there. So before I got to work there, they said I had to stand in there. And the first thing I saw was a knee replacement. <laughs> and I stood there while like the uh, the bone dust and the uh, cartilage pieces were being flung all over the room, landing on me. And Oof. I was fine with it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is there is there anything you can tell us about the March 27th single? I know you sometimes you want to leave it as a surprise. But maybe there's like a little tidbit or yeah, two you could give. This one isn't like uh, this one's just kind of like uh, I don't know. It's not as like heavy as the other ones. It's probably the most chill of them so far. Uh, not to say that it it uh, isn't great, but I'm just saying in comparison to other ones, like kind of slam. You know what I mean? I got this you. one's more like probably could have been an uh album track but i wanted to put it out for my son's birthday so that's why that's yep. cool very cool of you well matt we look forward to the single uh i i'm glad i was able to stump you a couple times on some avengers trivia you were good sport for doing <laughs> some of the hot sauce um i look forward to the album when it's completed and uh yeah man just thanks for coming on hang of this for a little bit yeah right on mm. If it's cool with you, I can throw this on YouTube tomorrow morning. Yep. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out the single when it comes out March 27th for Matt of Chemical Empire right there. Album coming late 2024, maybe? Whenever. Sometime. It's Sometime. Coming. Keep your ears to the ground for it. Matt of Chemical Empire! Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks, brother.
Have a great night.